Arr, hello there. This is Dark Bark coming to you from the shore of my desert island, where I'm looking for a ship to come save me. But since I am bored, I figured I would teach you about my third favorite sound, or. This sound is usually made with the letters O, R, together, and sometimes there's an E at the end, but sometimes it's spelled O, A, R. Hmm, maybe if I had an OR, I could paddle my way off this island on a raft. Okay, let's take our eye patches off so we can learn the words of the week. Let's practice saying some words and reading some words that have the OR sound in them. When you see the letters appear on the screen, say the sounds of those letters. Then we'll blend them together to make the words. Let's give it a try. S, T, OR, E. Remember that Y sound can make an E, long E at the end of the word, story, story. Treasure Island is a famous story about pirates. Ch, or, and we don't hear the E at the end. Sometimes or is made with O, R, and a silent E. Ch, or, chore, a chore is a job that you have to do. One chore that we got to do on the ship is to swab the deck. B. Or. Now you'll see here, sometimes the or sound is made with O-A-R. B. Or. D. Board. If someone tells you to walk the plank, you got to walk off the board. This is also what they used to use to board a ship, to climb a board. High frequency words are words you want to read as soon as you see them because they're used a lot. Say each word after I say it. Began. That means we started to do something. We began to do the work. Better. Guess. Learn. Write. Now this does not mean to write on paper. This means right or wrong or right and left. Sure. Vocabulary are a couple of words that you want to know how to read and write and what the meanings are. Idea, something you think of, a thought and that you have about something is an idea. Unusual. The beginning is un, that's a prefix that means not. So unusual means not usual, not something you would usually see or different. Song time. I know a lot of words, my crew live me here like some kind of jerk. I'm back to the ship, but dangers lurk out there beneath the sea. Oh, I'd love to sail on the streets once more, but I'm stuck right here on the sandy shore. A desert island is such a bore, please come and rescue me. Seriously, though, come rescue me. It's time for the spelling words. Uh, Dark Bart would love to reward you for doing a great job knowing these words before they're introduced. But unfortunately, I'm out of gold. Uh, let me see. I think I got some nickels in my pockets here. I'll give you a nickel for each word you get correct before it's shown to you. I'm going to say each word and you'll need to write it down on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. You can pause the video to give yourself time to write it down by touching the screen. When you're finished writing it, you can touch the video again to resume and see what the correct spelling is. Born. The baby was born last month. B. Born. You can see the O-R make the OR sound in that word. The next word is corn. I like to eat corn on the cob. Corn ends the same way and it's spelled the same way at the ending. The next word is core. The core is the middle of something, like an apple has a core. K, or. Sometimes there's a silent E that we don't hear that goes with the or. The next word is more. It rhymes with core. Can you show how to spell more? More. Again, there's a silent E that we don't hear after the O-R. Roar. The lion made a loud roar. That's our next word. Er, or. Sometimes there's an A in there. O-A-R can make the or sound as well. 
And that's what's going to be used in this next word, soar. I saw the eagle soar through the sky. Soar. Now, this version of soar means to fly. There's another word that sounds the same, but it means something different. S-O-R-E is sore, like if something hurts, like sore muscles. Now for some words from last week with the er sound. Her. She brought her backpack to school. Her. Huh. Er with the E-R. Dirt. The worm was in the dirt. Duh. Earth. I R makes the er sound here. And we have an er sound in this next word for this week, and it's a little bit harder to spell. It's learn. Did you learn how to spell this word? Ol earn. In this case, E A R together makes the er sound. And that's why it's a word that we want to practice and memorize. And the last word is also a little tricky because it looks a little bit differently than how it sounds. Sure. Are you sure you know how to spell this word? It sounds like there's an SH at the beginning, but there is not. It's just S-U-R-E. And when those go together, they make sort of a SH sound. Sure. That's all for now. If you want some more pirate fun, you can listen to the book, How I Became a Pirate, on YouTube. I guess I'm going to get back to keeping a lookout for the ship.